What's up? How are you guys today? Some of you might remember we already did a video on tattoos where you know the general consensus was that they're not that great for you, but I did some more research because I was actually thinking of getting one myself and my conclusion was that it's a horrible, horrible idea. You're probably gonna destroy your liver. And the reason I was thinking of getting a tattoo is because I had gynecomastia surgery and the scars didn't look that great and I had a tattoo idea I always wanted from a while ago, but after seeing this, it's, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. And this video is gonna be a little bit boring because we're just talking about uh, the research studies, but if you want a concrete reason that you should not get a tattoo, this is going to be that video. And also be sure to check uh, the video we previously made for a more just general overview of tattoos. So for our first study, we have tattoo inks are toxicological risks to human health, a systematic review of their ingredients, fate inside skin, toxicity due to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, primary aromatic amines, metals, and overview of regulatory frameworks. Tattooists, with the help of tiny needles, place tattoo ink inside the skin surface and unintentionally introduce a large number of unknown ingredients. These ingredients include polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, heavy metals, and primary aromatic amines, PAAs, which are either unintentionally introduced along with the ink or produced inside the skin by different types of processes, for example, cleavage, metabolism, and photo decomposition. These could pose toxicological risks to human health if present beyond permissible limits. PAH, such as benzopyrene, is present in carbon black ink. PAAs could be formed inside the skin as a result of reductive cleavage of organic azo dyes. They are reported to be highly carcinogenic by environmental protection agencies. Heavy metals, namely cadmium, lead, mercury, antimony, beryllium, and arsenic are responsible for cancer, neurogenerative diseases, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, lungs, kidney, liver, endocrine, and bone diseases. Mercury, cobalt sulfate, other soluble cobalt salts and carbon black are in group 2B, which means they may cause cancer in humans. Cadmium and compounds of cadmium, on the other hand, are in group 1, carcinogenic to humans. So <laughs> this is really, really bad. And that study does an excellent job of explaining how much you're actually poisoning your entire body when you're getting a tattoo. And this is why, yeah, you get a small tattoo here or there. Maybe it's not the end of the world, but as soon as you start doing these really big pieces and sleeves and, and full body stuff, it's horrible, horrible, horrible for every single cell in your body. And you're introducing these toxins and heavy metals that you will never remove in your entire lifetime. That's, that's the most likely thing that's going to happen. You're just going to deal with the oxidative damage for the rest of your entire life. And some people are healthy and robust enough that they can do that and it's just stored in the tissue. And then maybe they just age a little quicker and don't look as young and, you know, when they get older and older, maybe it knocks a few years off their life. But uh, some people, and I'm sure someone knows about like a tattoo form or like a side effects form where they talk about this. It's very, very possible. There's a lot of people that are being kind of swept under the rug with their symptoms after they get a tattoo. So for our second study, we have comparative toxicological evaluation of tattoo inks on two model organisms. Our results in complex indicate that PR170, which is a type of tattoo dye, initiated strong oxidative stress in both tested organisms as manifested by the high increase in reactive oxygen species that were probably not neutralized by the antioxidant enzymes. This implies that the antioxidant defense system was inefficient in protecting the organisms against the oxidative stress triggered by PR-170 leading to oxidative damage. And that seems pretty obvious that the sheer amount of toxins in the tattoo ink introduced in this really unnatural way directly into the skin, the body can't deal with it. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but overall, we are not set up to defend against this level of toxins. And then for our third and final study, we have 
Tattoo pigments are observed in the Kupfer cells of the liver, indicating blood-borne distribution of tattoo ink. Tattoo pigments are deposited in the skin and known to distribute to regional lymph nodes. Tattoo pigments are small particles and may be hypothesized to reach the bloodstream and become distributed to peripheral organs. This has not been studied in the past. The aim of the study was to trace tattoo pigments in internal organs in mice extensively tattooed with two different tattoo ink products. TEM, which is a, a type of microscopic analysis, identified intracellular tattoo pigments in the skin and in lymph nodes. TEM in both groups of tattooed mice showed tattoo pigment deposits in the Kupfer cells in the liver, which is a new observation. TEM detected no pigment in other internal organs. Light microscopy showed dense pigments in the skin and in lymph nodes, but not in internal organs. So what they found was that after tattooing these rats, the ink did go, as we know, in the skin, in the lymph nodes, but it was also sent directly to the liver. Now, maybe long term, the body will start distributing the ink to other organs as well. But from this, we can say, okay, you know, how much oxidative stress are you causing to your liver? And in someone with compromised liver function, is this going to be like a trigger, like a catalyst that's going to cause them so many health issues that they can't recover from? So, you know, what, what are our solutions here? <laughs> Obviously, don't get a tattoo, okay? If you really, really want a tattoo, maybe a small one, the natural inks, probably don't have as many carcinogens and aren't nearly as bad. However, you know, those tend to fade and, and the typical results from those natural ink tattoos, people don't really like them. At least that's my understanding of it. You want to optimize your overall health. So if you're super healthy and robust, I mean, you're probably not watching my YouTube channel, to be honest. But if you're really, really healthy, you can probably deal with the oxidative stress from uh, some tattoos. Avoid with poor organ function. So if you're in a situation like me, where you have, you know, I have liver damage from the carnivore diet and all that type of stuff. If you have some sort of pre-existing health condition related to your liver, avoid at all costs. I, I can't imagine this being <laughs> like, I can, it's an, it must be a nightmare if you have liver damage and then you start getting tattoos. And follow a detox diet. So if you do have tattoos and you did get one, you really want to tighten up your diet, make sure it's minimally inflammatory and, and that your body can deal with the oxidative damage from the tattoo as opposed to adding you know, other lifestyle factors on top of that, which is difficult because most people don't really do that. So if you guys uh, do want to support me, you can go to frank .com. You can see all of my creative and interesting products on all my various businesses. Uh, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my video. Thanks again for joining, guys. Let me know how you like this, and I'll see you for the next video.